Denver Broncos Mile High View, no commercials, no bullshit. The Baltimore Ravens had no business winning this game against the Denver Broncos. And if you think, Baltimore Raven fan, that we're some sort of Kool-Aid drinking, Bronco Orange Crush, Jim Jones, cult believing team or cheerleaders out here, we're anything but that. All we did was hear all through the game how this is the fifth, Broncos are the fifth best defense, which we know they're not. And if you were the fifth best defense, Denver, uh, (laughs) you would stop this pathetic offense. I just want to say to Raven fan that this was one of the most pathetic displays of offense from not just, I'm not even saying the quarterback who, you know, thought Justin Simmons had a Ravens uniform on. From a coaching standpoint, who, uh, this is what we've seen, Raven fan. We've seen this nonsense uh, all year long with the Denver Broncos. Uh, and I think it goes on league wide. Uh, I think, and I did, had a comment to uh, Colby, my co host, this week before the game. I said, You watch. The Denver Broncos are going to put this team asleep. I mean, they're going to put them into a coma. This, this offensive performance by the Ravens was the worst. This is worse. This is far worse than the than the Broncos, on a multitude of levels. This is the, by far the worst offense I've seen the Broncos play since the Indianapolis Colts, and the Indianapolis Colts may have had an edge, being better than this this offense here. And I'm just going to say this quite frankly, to to Raven fan, you you guys need some soul searching. I thought when Lamar Jackson went out of the game, that was actually an upgrade. Because it's clear, just in a little bit of time, we, we, we did a film breakdown, and I'm going to post the link on the, uh, the Ravens. And we saw it coming up, and we saw it rear in its ugly head. I believe Lamar Jackson suffers from Russell Wilsonitis. Russell Wilsonitis is, is holding on to the ball too long. You know, yeah, and there were, before uh, Lamar Jackson went out of the game, he had guys he could throw to. He just held on to the ball too long, you know, and that's what we saw in the in the in our game film breakdown. So, you bring in a guy, in my opinion, who was getting the rid of the ball quicker, but the play calling too for the Ravens it was atrocious. I, I, I'll get to the Broncos. Don't worry, <laughs> we'll get to the Broncos. I've never seen. I mean, I think you Ravens have some soul searching to do. And also in our uh, Colby's film breakdown, Shadow Band Scouting, and I'll link to it again. I'll link to what we are the pregame that Shadow Band did. We showed the weaknesses of the Raven defense. Now, you didn't hear us saying this is a top five, number one, all this defense are weaknesses. You know, they play soft, and we knew that the Broncos could take advantage of that, that softness. Now, you would think, you would think on the Ravens side, you would think that everybody, I think what happens when they play the Broncos is they, they, there's such disrespect for the Broncos, rightfully so, right, rightfully so. Don't get me wrong, rightfully so. But it's to the point where they think they can do experiments. You know, yeah, Lamar Jackson, you can take a rest. I think it was the best thing anyway. We'll give this, this backup some, some playing time, it's, you know, because we really don't respect your defense. And let's be honest. Let's be honest. If this if this Bronco defense was top five, as these stats, so you know, the, I call them ghost stats, as these ridiculous stats, because these every every offense the Broncos played has been just as inept, just about or just about as inept. Or if they're not inept, then they start doing stupid stuff, like what happened with the quarterback who's pounding, you know, pounding a turf because he threw it right to just. I mean, he didn't even bothered to throw it out of bounds. I mean, which that's what you do. Anybody would think he throws it right exactly like Justin Simmons is wearing a a Raven uniform. And yes, he's pounding the turf knowing how stupid that throw was. Nothing Justin Simmons did other than, matter of fact, had uh, that line not broke down. Now they had the, the uh, offensive line had for the Ravens had broke down. If it had not broke down, if it, uh, you know, he had at least some time. He could have planted, and he just throw it over Justin Simmons. His his guy, he let him get behind him, and that would probably would have been a touchdown. But it broke down, so you have to throw the ball away. It's just one on one stuff. And then, and then, you know, <clears throat> you're driving down. You decide to get cutesy. 
you decide to get cutesy. You know, you have no, you're have you driving down, you have no problem on this number one defense, Denver, right? And then you're going to do this razzle-dazzle, you know, I call it a, uh, a, a arm punt. Basically, you have a guy that should not be a quarterback. The only time you throw that, that, that play, you do that play, is when there's, there's nobody but your guy in the end zone. Yeah, then you throw it. But you had a bunch of white jerseys there. Why would you do that? Oh, because you don't know what you're doing. You're not a quarterback. You don't know what you're doing. That's what a, that's what a bunch of dooseldorves do, a bunch of you know dimwits. So it was an arm punt that Justin Simmons, of course. I call him Justin Simmons is definitely the luckiest safety in the world. He'll have these stats. Oh, yeah, these stats. What's the context on these uh, interceptions? Oh, Lawrence, five yards, throws it right at him. Why? Nobody can figure that out, especially if you were a Jacksonville Jaguar. Then we go to the Ravens, who uh, uh, decide to uh, uh, just do the same thing, just throw it to him. You know, Justin Simmons, is he in tight coverage, making a spectacular play? Is he baiting the receiver? No, no. He just, you know, just stupid quarterback play. So they, all, all of his interceptions are off totally boneheaded quarterback play. Nothing on, on, the, on the defender's part. That's why you guys should lost the game. Just doing stupid stuff, and, you, and they still, and look, Broncos, they still win the game. Still win the game. No, you don't have the best defense. Well, you're 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 actually you're actually three and ten. Oh no, we're three and nine. No, you're not beating the Chiefs. You you actually have an offense coming at you for the first time this year. But here here we go again. Kansas City knows that it's a, it's a, basically a bye week playing the Broncos. They know that. They know that the Chiefs know they can score thirteen points and win the game. They don't need to score. You know, but but here's the thing, Denver. Justin Simmons running his fucking mouth in the offseason. We're going to dethrone the Chiefs. I think they're going to have a point to prove to the Denver Broncos where they really are and where their defense really is versus where the Chiefs are. Now, I was just watching the uh, the the pregame, CBS pregame show. And they were uh, the offensive linemen for the Kansas City Chiefs were talking about how they're praised by the organization. Got their own T-shirts. Fans are just... Uh, you can't say enough about them, and how much respect that organization has for both offensive and defensive lines. Both of them. They had both lines featured. They understand. It. They get it inside out. They totally get it over at Kansas City. It's not just Mahomes. They totally get it over there. Now, none of you got a clue. You, you had people, Bronco fans, running their mouths, thinking that, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, he should have won the game. I agree with that. I'm, I'm, there, I'm with you there. But you're so stupid. You don't think this team will figure out a way to blow it? This, if, if this is a defense, if this defense is, where was Justin Simmons at this last drive? That that the, the actual touchdown by the the Ravens, he just watched it. When you really need him to make a play, he just watched it. Yeah, he got crap interceptions, yeah, total crap. We're talking not tight coverage, making a spectacular play, not baiting the quarterback and jumping the rat, none of that stuff. No, no, they were give me's. Every every interception he has is a give me. So stop get stop it already. The touchdown, you just watched it come in. You, there was no support there. No Atwater-esque type plays. No, no, no. No, you don't get that. You know, it's funny, an offense this bad, and this is a bad one, decides they're going to put a drive together on this defense and do it, you know you ain't the top five. Just You need to knock that off. And you got a real offense coming at you now. But like I said, you know, they know 13 points will do it. So I don't know what kind of effort you're going to get from Kansas City. They know they don't need to. But then again, like I said, they may be proving a point this time because Justin Simmons has to run his mouth. So Raven fans, uh, no, no, no. You're, 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 you have soul searching to do on that offense. Somebody better get a handle. Somebody better explain to somehow work with Lamar Jackson. To, I don't know what happened to him last year. He was a great pocket quarterback. He had to because of his back. You know, you can't have him run around like a chicken with his head cut off. Because look, yeah, yeah, that's what happens. You you can't make it. You can't make it into the postseason. You'll get the guy killed. He's got to learn how to play in the pocket. Get rid of the ball quick. Read the de- read, read defenses. But that's your problem. I and mean, we got our own problem with. Uh, Russell Wilson. And I just want to say this. I want to close out with the Broncos here. I thought in that first drive you guys could have, that the Broncos could have scored a 
a touchdown. But no, every third down, it seemed every time they went into the third down, it was horrible play call. It was a horrible play design and a horrible play call. Something is happening on third downs with this team. They get stupid. It's just this was everything looked good until they went to third down. And then they went into stupid mode. And I don't think it was Russell Wilson or even really the players' fault. For the most part, I think that this was a coaching problem. Everybody's got a hand in the pot over in Denver. And you guys got so you guys got to figure it out. I mean, you're not even in the same league as Kansas City. So this is going to be a three and ten team after next week. The Denver Broncos. And Seattle would like to thank you for giving them like the top three pick or whatever it's going to be. It's going to be up there. And they're 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 just licking their child. No, Elway isn't going to be sitting there tapping anybody on the shoulder. They know what they got to do. They know how they're going to build, probably from the inside out. You know, they're going to get those key pieces. You know, over in Seattle, because you know they, they they they'll when they become a good team, you can thank the Denver Broncos for that and John Elway, Mister Tap 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 on the shoulder. No, 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 don't no no don't hire Dan Quinn, no no Nathaniel Hackett because we're gonna get we're gonna get uh, Aaron Rodgers. You'll see it's gonna be uh, uh, my legacy. It's it's the only thing that's important. Tap tap tap. Yeah, big time problems over at Bronco Land. So good luck. Good luck is all I got to say. And I don't want to hear it from idiotic fans that have been wrong for seven years. You know, you're a bunch of Jim Jones Kool-Aid drinking, and you're going to end up dead just like Jim Jones. You know, you are dead. You're brain dead. So I don't want to hear from you. Enough.